Hi, I'm Katie Workman. I'm the author of the Mom 100 cookbook and creator of the Mom 100 blog. And today we're making Maui burgers, a recipe from King's Hawaiian, which everybody loves their burgers. We all do, but we're always looking for something a little bit different. And this burger is different because it has this great spicy sauce. It has grilled pineapple. So we'll start off by making the sauce. And this sauce uses a condiment that is so amazing. It's called Tsuchimi Tokarashi, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing horribly. But it's a great, it's a Japanese seasoning, so you can find it in specialty stores and Asian food stores. And it's made with two kinds of pepper, orange rind, ginger, seaweed. It has sesame in it. So two tablespoons of mayonnaise, about a quarter of a teaspoon of this, and just give it a stir. And that is it, that is your secret sauce and people will be asking you what you put in it. We're gonna make our own burgers now using ground beef. All we've done here is good beef seasoned with salt and pepper, use your hands and make a nice size burger. Handle the burger mixture lightly if you can. You don't wanna crush it, but you do wanna create a nice, a nice shape. And here is one of the secrets to making a burger that doesn't puff up in the middle. Haven't you done that where it gets all fat in the middle and all the toppings just slide off and you don't understand it was perfectly flat when you put it on the grill or in the pan? Well, when the burger cooks, it will puff up in the middle slightly during cooking. So if you take your thumb and make a nice little indent in the middle, it will still puff up, but once it puffs up, then it's gonna be flat. So do that. I'm gonna brush some teriyaki sauce on the outside of the burger. This is really nice because we're gonna get this the seasoning infused in the burger, and the whole thing is gonna have this spicy, sweet, salty thing going on. So, onto the grill pan. How long does a burger take to cook? The answer is it depends. It depends how thick your burger is. It depends how hot your pan is. It depends if you like your burger medium well or medium rare. So only you can really know the answer to that. Watch them closely. Don't flip them too early, because then you won't get the nice brown bottom, and they might fall apart. So we have our pineapple slices, these happen to be canned. If you have fresh, great. Right onto the grill. The burgers are almost done. The pineapple's almost done. You can see the great grill marks on them. This is just what we were looking for. Just give the buns a little bit of toasting. I don't think the burgers are done, so I'll take them off while, while we do that. Okay, our buns, I think, are ready. Yes, that is what we're looking for. And we're gonna just take a little bit of, take the two bottom buttons to start, take a little bit of our spicy sauce and spread it on the bottom of each bun. The first thing we're gonna do is put the burger on. Like so. And then we are going to take a piece of cheddar cheese. And then the pineapple is gonna go on top of the cheddar. After that, you top it the way you wanna to top your burger, no matter how it's prepared. So, slice of tomato, slice of onion, some lettuce, and then we're gonna take the other, the top of our toasted burger, put a little bit more of our spicy mayonnaise on it. That is the Maui burger, and that is a burger that is gonna have sweetness, heat, saltiness, and of course, burger awesomeness. For more King's Hawaiian recipes, go to kingshawaiian.com. This is Katie Workman. I'm in the kitchen of The Daily Meal. Thanks for joining me.